Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to DBR. Today we're looking at an endoscope, a boroscope, a waterproof tube snake camera for use with an Android phone or a PC. And I'm pretty excited about this one. I got the 3.5 meter version and there she is. Now what's nice about this is it comes with a USB to micro USB female cable. And it looks like the endoscope itself is just directly to an Android jack. Oh, and here it is. This is interesting. So this is a seven millimeter lens diameter with some LEDs that you can adjust the brightness on with this little control, I guess, all the way at the end. Yeah, it looks like you got a little turn here, a little turn dial. And I got 3.5 meters shooting at a resolution of 0.3 megapixels and 640 by 480 pixels, and it's waterproof. Now what's interesting is the cable's actually thinner, but you're gonna be limited by how thick the camera is here at the top. And uh, I'm pretty excited to get this to use. Let's see what else is in the box here. Okay, this is a hook that you put on the end, so if you're using it maybe to clear an obstacle, you can stick it down there. Oh, and it looks like right here they've got an, a mirror attachment. You can swivel on the end there. And that's if you want to look around a 90 degree corner. Looks a little dusty right now. Okay. Uh, okay, here's the adapter. If you want to go straight to USB, which will be usable for a PC. Looks like we've got some software to install. Uh, I'll be using it on my phone first, so I'm gonna install the app. Huh? Oh, and instructions. Pretty straightforward. Just giving you the specs once again in multiple languages. Awesome. All right, let's plug this in and get it going. All right, guys, so we're going to start off by throwing the endoscope down my 308. Beautiful. Let's see how the focus works here. About two inches out is where this camera tends to focus. And as you can see, pretty clearly, you can see the barrel, not so much right at the camera's level, it's kind of grainy there, a little bit out of focus, but right there, oh man, look at that. That's a beautiful looking barrel. There's my firing pin right at the end here, and I'm going to drop the firing pin back, keep coming through. Ha! No way. All right, guys, so the second use uh, that's actually kind of advertised for the endoscope is using it for computers and I can see where the value of this would be. So we've got some good lighting but as you can see even with good lighting I'm um, having a flashlight is really helpful and that's what's nice about this is it has its own flashlight. So we can kind of come in here and let's say before you pull something else you out you want to kind of see what's going on in there. Well you can put it right in here and take a look right inside your computer and it does light it up like a Christmas tree. Um, and of course, you know, all these wires is really difficult to get past with your own hands and of course looking through with your eyes, but if you suspect something is wrong, maybe deep in the motherboard on one of the connectors, you can kind of go in there with this. Now again, one of the limitations is that uh, it's really hard to control once it leaves your grip, which some of the stuff you have to do, you know, like with going down the barrel of the gun or going down um, and around something. And that's what the 90 is supposed to help. But uh, I actually had a friend who had a great idea and I'm gonna try it out here and see if it works. Okay, so this is kind of what I was talking about, um, except I would rather use something like a uh, uh, wire that I can wrap around because the wire would be changeable at any point, whereas this is just a bend straw. But I just wanted to illustrate the concept. If you put something that is moldable, like this straw or a piece of metal that you wrap kind of through the cord, you can actually negotiate around angles here. So you can actually kind of come through here and uh, look behind, right, like a corner. Uh, so I'll illustrate that right now with just the difference in the control. We got a nice corner here, got the bendy straw attached, and you can just turn that corner, go right into the back side there. Just have a little more control on what I can look at without having my fingers all the way all the way on the camera itself. 
just a little bit more control there. And uh, again, you can kind of really amplify this by using something, um, something like a, a, uh, you know, a long cord or cable, maybe even just like a little wire that you can wrap around the scope wiring itself and control it. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to the Endoscope Boroscope Review. There you have it, a pretty cool device for very, very low cost. And I think it's pretty effective if you use it for those small tasks um, as far as looking around computers, maybe even cars. All right, tune in next time, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.